Pisces, what's the welcome to Epiphany Tarot? I am here to do your reading. I don't know why. I don't know why that noise started going off as soon as I turned this camera on. So for some of you, I'm the first thing I heard when I when that went off is triggered. So for some of you, Pisces, this reading may be triggering for you. So watch it at your own discretion. Um or cross watcher, whoever you are, but Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. We're going to go ahead and tap in. This is going to be a love reading, Pisces. We're going to see what's going on with you. Um, Pisces, um, the first thing I heard was that somebody got their wires crossed out here about, um, about what self-care is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there could be some Pisceans out there who are trying to like self-love, surf self-nurture um but it's something about the way that you're doing it is not quite it um because we got the first part we got out here is self-absorbed and then you got the self self-care card out here so it's just like it's like you could be doing like um you could be doing like spiritual baths or taking bubble baths and stuff like that and it's like you're trying to self-nurture you're trying to love yourself you're trying to care for yourself and all this type of shit but it's like you're still connected to some to something that's heavily rooted in toxicity and codependency. Um, and it's like you're trying to self care, but you're connected to something that's heavily codependent, heavily toxic. So it's just like it's like self care, but not quite. It's like the self absorbed card. This could be somebody who's just acting like a bitch and who's doing that and claiming that oh i'm just loving myself i'm all about me now but being all about you doesn't mean you block off your heart and i feel like that's what some of you are confused about it's like do i like in order to love myself does that mean i have to like shut off all my emotions and never open up to anybody never be vulnerable and like to to love yourself to self-care to nurture yourself it, it doesn't mean that you cut your heart off from people or you close yourself off to be open to relationships and new possibilities and shit it just means that you you protect your heart at all costs meaning that you don't give it to people who are undeserving you protect that until somebody proves to you that they're worthy of your emotions that they're worthy of you being vulnerable that they're worthy of you opening up to them until then anybody that you encounter doesn't deserve to have that um, they don't deserve to have access to that emotional point within you so for some of you it's like you're trying to protect yourself but at the same time you're still connected to something that's like toxic or unhealthy that's heavily in like heavily heavily connected to codependency and it's just like i don't know this self-love shit is coming off as like just selfish if that makes sense because next card we got out is seduction and tainted love so yeah this is you a lot of y'all you are holding you have some type of resentment towards somebody and the next card we got out is lacks maturity it's like so there's some type of pent-up energy that you have towards somebody because they refuse to grow up they lack maturity you know what i'm saying it could be emotional maturity or whatever but at the same time it's like pisces you don't get to control when somebody matures or this could be vice versa if i'm not talking to you pisces this could be a cross watcher or whoever but whoever this woman is who has all this resentment and anger and malice in her heart towards somebody who refused to grow up you don't get to dictate somebody's maturity level the only thing you can do is gauge it like only thing you can do is like encounter somebody see where they head is see where they mind is see where they heart heart is at and if that doesn't resonate with you then you can just keep going about your business this is like somebody who's been with somebody who's been trying to force something to work here and it's just not working because people don't they don't mature on your time and it don't matter how many years you stay with them it don't matter how long you hold them down through certain shit it's just people develop when they're on their own when they're supposed to you can't grow in the same environment that made you sick so it's just like if you've been with somebody for a long time to where the, the relationship is just toxic there's no trust there's no 
uh love there's no nurturing there's no none of that shit but you're still trying to self-love and you're still trying to grow in this same environment it doesn't work like that you have to completely cut ties with something or someone for the journey to truly begin so this is pisces this is like you like knowing what you what you need to do it's like you're trying to have your cake and eat it too it's like on one side you're trying to love yourself you're trying to nurture you're trying to grow but then on the other side you're still trying to hold on to this person out of fear because that's what codependency is holding on to something out of fear because you know something down inside of you pisces you know that once this person once once this relationship is over with or this connection is over with somebody probably will mature like finally it just won't be with you or whoever this woman is it's like you're waiting on some man to mature or you're waiting around for him to mature because this could be somebody that is my spirit is showing me the eight of cups energy so this is somebody you invested a lot of time energy emotion effort all kind of shit you would invest a lot into this person into this situation and it's like they're taking their sweet ass time to mature if at all you know what I'm saying? So it's like a woman out here who's waiting around for a man to mature because she wants that mature version of him. But at the same time, he that might not be for you. This person, once they mature, they're going to elevate. They're going to ascend. Then once they grow up and mature, they may be a totally different person. Once you grow and move on, Pisces, you're going to ascend and not be the same version of yourself either. So by the time you two motherfuckers ascend, you won't even be a compatible match anymore. Your taste in people and, and shit will change when you elevate, just like this person. So it's just like you're waiting on somebody to mature, but shit, by the time you by the time you let this go and you really go on your healing journey, you mature and you ascend and you open up and you start to look at shit differently, this person probably won't even be your type. So essentially you're waiting for nothing. I feel like you're just trying to hold on to something. This is like a trauma bond. If you think this person is your twin flame or some shit, they're not. They're just not. And all this acting like a bitch, having an attitude. Um, trying to get this person to see that you're hurt and shit. That shit do not work, okay? For some of you, for some of you, you may not want to let this person go because they may have, like, good head or you like the way they eat your pussy or they like the way you suck their dick. So you're just, like, tolerating something. But really, it's like you're just going to deal with somebody's immaturity just because they got good head. For some of you, this person can have a gap or you do. But yeah, it's like you're trying to like heal yourself in some kind of toxic environment and that's not what's going to work. Then it's like empathy out here. I feel like you're trying to like, I don't know, you or somebody else is like trying to make somebody like, I don't know, feel sorry for you. It's like you're trying to play on somebody's empathy and shit, trying to make them feel bad for what they're doing or feel bad for not maturing fast enough. But like, I don't fucking know what the fuck is going on here, Pisces. It's like somebody out here is just childish. You know what I'm saying? Somebody somebody out here is acting like a jealous bitch. And I don't know if it's you, Pisces, or what. Okay. So let's see. But like I said, this is oh, spirit just said that you let them have them or something here. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if there was some type of rivalry or competition over whoever this immature ass masculine energy is, but it's like one of the feminine energies in this scenario, let the other feminine energy have this person. But it's just like the, the feminine energy that has this masculine who's immature as fuck, she's not really that happy. She's still losing. You know what I'm saying? It's like she wants to be on some high vibe and shit. Like she did the most to keep this man. And now that she got him, it's just like he's still immature. He's still doing stupid shit. She's still tolerating a lot just to say that she got this man. So it's just like, is it really worth it? Probably not. Like, I don't know. What the fuck is going on here, Pisces? And some of you are really on a self-care journey. You were dealing with somebody who you really wanted to be with. Maybe you thought this person was your twin flame or whatever the fuck. But they're just really like in the fucking chore. And so and it was another, a third party or something involved. They wanted to compete with you over this masculine. And I feel like somebody here just threw in a towel. It's just like, okay, fuck it. You can just keep them. 
Like, you can go on ahead and have them because this is too much. So, somebody out here is a feminine energy out here that really went on a healing journey. It's another feminine energy out here who's acting like she is, but she's still connected to this toxic motherfucker or this immature ass person. And it's like, even though whoever this feminine energy is who has this man who is with this masculine, she's still jealous of somebody else. She's jealous of somebody who who she's jealous of the feminine energy that actually went on the self-care journey and left this shit behind it's like you got what you wanted you have this man you have whatever the fuck this is why are you still jealous of this other feminine energy that that in that's on some self-care shit like i don't i don't get it i don't know what the fuck is going on here pisces let's see That's what I'm saying because for some of you it could be a Capricorn involved in this situation somewhere because Aaliyah was a Capricorn but somebody is definitely jealous because look her eyes are green I don't know if you can see this I don't know if you can see the color of her eyes but her eyes are green so this is somebody is like they're jealous there's a jealous female out here what she's jealous of I don't know like she could be jealous of somebody's ability to self-care to self-love to thrive in her own femininity and shit it's like somebody's jealous of somebody another female's womanhood out here yeah two of swords yeah somebody is like ignoring somebody trying to act like they don't see the elephant in the room or something here with the two of swords it's like ignoring something acting like you don't see something two of swords she has a blindfold on but it's like she's holding the two swords in her hand. She could cut this blindfold off if she really wanted to. There's somebody out here acting like they don't see something or they're trying to ignore something or somebody's ignoring you. It could be an air sign for some of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, two of pentacles. It's a decision. Two twos out here. So you could be saying two, two, two Pisces. But if not, there's a decision that needs to be made out here. Two of swords, two of pentacles. Somebody out here could be bisexual also. When I start to get too many twos, that could be somebody who like goes both ways. They play for both sides. But I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made out here. Two of swords, two of pentacles. But somebody's trying to ignore that. Where somebody could be trying to ignore the fact that they're being juggled. Two of pentacles. I don't, because the two of pentacles can indicate somebody who's busy. So if you are in a relationship, um, Pisces, if you're in a relationship with an earth sign, two of pentacles, you can feel like this person, like, is always at work or they're just always busy. They don't make enough time for you in the relationship. It's like they spending too much time at work here. Or it's like you can feel like they put business or money or whatever like above your relationship or something here with the two of pentacles. Yeah, we got the magician out here. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. But like I said, or it could be like Pisces, you could have tried to you could have tried to move on from somebody that you thought was your soulmate or whatever. But I think you thought this person was going to chase you or this person was going to come back and they didn't. So some of you Pisces could be in a whole new situation with somebody new, but you're still tripping off somebody from your past. It's like somebody's trying to manifest something out here with the magician. You're trying to call somebody in. It's like somebody is like, because with these twos out here, two of swords, two of pentacles, it's like somebody out here, it's like they're weighing their options. They have another option. They're trying to call somebody in from their past because they feel like if they get another chance with whoever this person is, they'll drop this other option. But it's like somebody's not going to drop that option without knowing for sure that they're going to get a second chance with this person from their past. Yeah, somebody's playing too much out here. It's like somebody wants to go back to somebody from their past, but they're not sure if they have a chance there or not. So it's like they're trying to stay put where they're at while they're trying to manifest an opportunity from their past. But then at the same time, 
it's like whoever the feminine energy is that's in a relationship with this masculine, she feels like she's not a priority, you know? Two of Pentacles is somebody busy, you know? They're here, they're there, they're trying to balance things and shit. And so it's just like, you could just feel like you're like not a priority for this person. And whoever's in this relationship, the feminine energy who's in a relationship with this man, she feel like she's not a priority. He's always busy. He always at work or he just puts other things before this relationship. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the rule of fortune. Yeah, spirit keeps trying to teach you the same karmic lesson over and over and over again. But there's something here that you're not getting Pisces with the rule of fortune reverse or somebody out here isn't getting it because it keeps backfiring. Eight of wands reverse. The Wheel of Fortune is, uh, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is karma. This is the Saturn. So Saturn is trying to teach you a lesson here, Pisces, because I feel like Saturn is still in retrograde, if I'm not mistaken. But Wheel of Fortune reverse, um, that's a series of unfortunate events taking place. Or you could be experiencing some type of karma right now for some of you. Or this person is if you're cross watching yeah let's see why is it two of swords yeah it's like i feel like the wheel of fortune here is like some of the tables in turn on somebody not in a good way it's like something here has gotten worse or it's like, I don't know. It's like somebody's trying to escape this karma. So now they're trying to hurry up and manifest some type of opportunity from their past. Somebody that they missed out on or fucked up with. But it's like they're already involved in something else. And that person that they're with feels neglected. Like... I don't know whoever this is Pisces I feel like this person had a lot going on like I feel like this person had a lot going on when you met them so I don't know if you like walked in and joined in on somebody's karma or you got involved with somebody who's now going through karma but now it's like affecting you so your shit is fucking up why is the two of swords here Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's a love bomber. I told you somebody I hear you, the Knight of Cups reverse is my bisexual card. So this could be somebody who goes both ways. They're sexually fluid. They could like men and women, but Knight of Cups reverse is if if that doesn't apply, then the Knight of Cups reverse is just somebody who's they're a gaslighter, a manipulator, a love bomber, somebody who just sell you a bunch of fucking dreams, emotionally immature. It's like this is somebody who literally just tells you what you want to hear. Um, immature out here. Somebody here is fucking immature, emotionally immature for sure. Knight of Cups is like this is somebody who loves the lovey dovey part of a relationship, or they like creating that illusion for you. Like when you first meet somebody, they love making you feel like, oh my god, you're the one. We're gonna be together forever. But it's just like when shit starts to get too serious, it's just like I don't know something weird here. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? This is somebody love bombing you, gaslighting you, manipulating your emotions. This is definitely some fake love type shit. Whatever this person is telling you or doing, they don't mean it. This is very insincere. This is your ass. Find somebody close to reverse. So it's like this person could have another option or they want to have another option because with the two of pentacles here they're trying to manifest somebody they're trying to call somebody in while they're telling you they're busy it's like they're trying to they're trying to pull on somebody else's energy with the magician here last night of cups here And I feel like this Wheel of Fortune reverse, like Pisces, this isn't the first time Spirit has tried to teach you this lesson. 
Yeah, Page of Wands reverse. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody who has an STD also. Knight of Cups reverse and a Page of Wands reverse. Or this could be somebody that you have a fire sign child with. But yeah, there's some type of bad news here with the Page of Wands reverse. That's what I'm saying. You could have caught this person like texting somebody because the Page of Wands reverse could be like sexting or something but it's like bad news here this is somebody who's like immature they're jealous hearted and shit this person likes to love bomb and gaslight you and shit but like when you do something then they get mad page of wands reverse Page of Pentacles. I'm telling you, I told you. This person trying to manifest somebody. They're trying to extend some type of olive branch to somebody. Trying to make amends or make a peace offering or give somebody a gift or something while they're in a relationship with whoever this jealous bitch is. Like real shit. Page of Pentacles. Or this could be somebody who has more than one kid. We got Knight of Cups out here with um, two pages out here. So for some of you, this person can have more than one kid. They can have at least two children. But I really feel like it's like they're trying to make amends with somebody. They're in this, they're in this fake, insincere, immature ass energy, and they're trying to like extend an olive branch to somebody that doesn't fuck with them. Like two, two of swords out here. I feel like some. It's like somebody out here is in a relationship with a karmic feminine energy, and she's being ignored by this person, and this person is being ignored by this person that they want. It's like everybody is getting ignored out here. <laughs> yeah. Lots of page of um, pentacles here. Yeah, high priestess. Mm -hmm. And this is the truth. Yeah, somebody went silent on this person. Whoever this immature as masculine energy is, he keeps trying to reach out to somebody, but this person is ignoring him. High priestess, this is your energy, Pisces. So this could be you. So this is this could be somebody that you used to date who's in a relationship with a karmic feminine now. That bitch is jealous of you, and you're the high priestess. Like you already know what's going on with this situation with this person. Like and you, I feel like the high priestess doesn't speak. So it's like you ignore this person. You don't speak to them. We got the two of swords and the uh, high priestess out here. This is somebody who's definitely being ignored. It's like somebody doesn't want their offer or something here. This was definitely coming out in Gemini energy too. The last reading I did for Gemini or something, they were trying to cheat on somebody that they were with and they were being ignored. So you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. But like I said, this Gemini is the person that you really wanted, but they were too fucking immature. So they went and got into a relationship with somebody else and then tried to reach out to you in Pisces. Now you're ignoring this person who <laughs> the high priest is it's like, no. Or this high priest is, she could be a tarot reader or a spiritualist, somebody who's really tapped in. Or whoever, this high priestess, she knows that this person that had another kid with somebody or something. It's like somebody out here is trying to juggle two situations here. I don't know why these cards keep flipping out like this, Pisces. What the fuck is going on here? Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, somebody because somebody feels like their dating got left behind, like their life has slowed down, plateaued, delayed. The three, the three of wands reverse can be somebody frustrated with their decisions. The decisions they've made in their life has caused them to not make a lot of progress. So somebody here is frustrated about these delays, about these decisions, these choices that they made. They really didn't get them anywhere. Lots of three of wands reverse.
Yeah, yeah. Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah. Some of you be dealing with Sagittarius. Yeah. And for some of you, and for some of you, this person is like trying to reconnect with you or high priestess because y'all have a child together. So this could be so Pisces, this could be somebody that you used to date or somebody that you used to be married to. You and this person had a kid together. And then once y'all broke up, this person moved on to a new relationship, had a kid with that person. It's like now they're trying to get back in good with you. But it's just like, you know, they would leave that situation that they're in to be back with you. But only if they actually knew they had a chance. Because this person is actively with a magician here trying to manifest your energy, trying to call you in here. But it's like they're not going to leave this situation that they're in unless they know for sure that they have a relationship with you, with you or an offer with you. Or if they can be back with you for sure, they're not going to leave this situation with this toxic ass bitch they're with. But this is somebody who this is somebody who's for the streets. I'm telling you, like not because we versus somebody who's an emotional manipulator. They're fake as fuck, insincere as fuck immature a liar a gaslighter like and then a knight of wands reverse this is somebody who can't control their sexual urges like this is somebody who fuck anything knight of, knight of wands some of you can be dealing with sagittarius I, I feel like whoever this karmic feminine energy is that's in a relationship with this person it's like i feel like she got to work overtime to keep this person's attention because they're like the Knight of Wands reverse. This is like somebody always seeking out excitement or something. Or they're just a cheater. She either working overtime to keep this person's attention or she's working overtime to keep this person from cheating on her. Again. <laughs> Wands and Knight of Wands, yeah. Reverse. Yeah, this could be somebody with a temper, a, a temper as well with the Knight of Wands. Now, I do feel like this person is attractive. They can be real charming with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. But this person is showing up as knights and in the reverse. This is not, this is not somebody that you would want to date. This is not, I'm telling you, you get into a relationship with somebody who's in this night reversed energy you're going to be drained okay that's why i say self-care out here somebody out here keeps trying to self-care because they're dealing with somebody who keeps draining them nine of cups not 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 so you can be saying nine 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 knight of cups reverse knight of wands reverse this person is a lot to deal with because they're fucking immature it's a woman out here who's trying to tame this person's energy but she can't so now it's like she's working overtime trying to love on herself and keep this person from doing something or keep this person boxed in or something like she can have to suck this man's dick a lot <laughs> i don't know why i'm hearing it like why is the night of wands reverse because this person they could be like the not the night of wands reverse is promiscuity Somebody who always wants to fuck. They're always looking for the new. They always want to try a different pussy or try a different dick. It's just like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Why is it not a wand reverse? Yeah, food card. Yeah, this is somebody who's completely reckless. Yeah, I wouldn't trust this person. Like, Pisces, if you're dealing with this person on any type of level or they're trying to come back around towards you, I mean, you already know. Whoever this high priestess is out here, she already knows. I mean, Pisces, that is your energy. So this could be you or this could be somebody else who's hella intuitive, psychic or whatever. But somebody here already knows because somebody out here is very sexually reckless. Fool card and the Knight of Wands reverse. This is somebody who will fuck anybody if the, if the situation presents itself and they don't wear protection either. So this is somebody who's out here cheating and raw dogging. Why is the Fool card reverse? Some of you could be Aries. We got Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius. We got you, Pisces, out here, and Cancer and Scorpio. Virgo and Gemini. Why is the food card reverse out here? It's like somebody likes to cheat for a sport or something. You have Tower card here, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody is like getting exposed for this or
the four said somebody could get caught cheating too. Fool court reverse with the Knight of Wands reverse in the tower. Somebody got caught cheating. Yeah, somebody's getting exposed for like cheating or fucking somebody that you know or that you were suspicious about or something. But I feel like this is, I feel like whoever this was, they were actually cheating. Like Fool Car in the Knight of Wands reverse, somebody here got caught. Like they were like doing something. I don't know if somebody got caught eating somebody pussy or something. Yeah, as soon as I opened the deck, Ace of Swords, somebody got caught giving somebody head or. Yeah, they were caught doing something stupid. Yeah, and this person could be married too. Four of Wands, or they're in a live in situation with somebody. They're supposed to be in a relationship. This person is like acting like they're single on some shit. Or they act like they're single when their wife or their spouse or their girlfriend or boyfriend not around. But I feel like they're getting caught here. <laughs> a magician here yeah nine of cups yeah this person is trying to manifest an opportunity from their past because they're miserable where they are the nine of cups is somebody who's very smug somebody who thinks they're the shit and for some of you pisces you this person could have got caught cheating i mean they could have got caught cheating in somebody's house nine of wands reverse with the full card the tower in the four of wands the tower in the four of wands this is like inside somebody's home or something with the four of wands here. But I feel like nine of cups reverse, this person is acting smug about it. So if you caught this person cheating, it's just like, they're like, whatever. It's like, they don't even care. They're just like, okay, bitch, well, look. It's like, they're still trying to act like they weren't the problem. And again, like I said, the nine of cups is getting something that you want some getting something that you thought you wanted but when you got it is not really what you thought it was gonna be or this was you having what you wanted once upon a time and then you lost it so somebody in here is miserable because they couldn't replace this energy of this high priestess they couldn't replace your energy Pisces, like they couldn't, they they couldn't find nobody to match your energy at all, and they then went off into another relationship with somebody else, and they're still getting caught cheating and doing fuck shit, and they could possibly be married now, have another kid with somebody else and shit. It's like they are fucking miserable. They either had what they wanted and lost it, or got involved in something that they thought they wanted, and now that they're in it, it's not making them happy anymore. Nine of Cups reverse. This is somebody who's smug, somebody who's arrogant, somebody who's selfish. Somebody who is immature, they don't. This this is somebody who's very, very immature. They don't take accountability for shit that they do. And they're just not happy. Like, this person could be a drinker. They could overindulge. It's like they're miserable. I was a nine of cups reverse. And whoever this high priestess is, it's like ignoring this person or doesn't speak to them anymore. It's like she knows this person is miserable too. Wherever he's at in this relationship, like something here is like, that was a nine of cups reverse. It's like some, something out here is a karmic lesson. You could be currently going through this karmic lesson. I don't know which side of this shit you on, Pisces. I'm gonna assume that you're on the right side of this shit because the high priestess is upright. Somebody could be hiding a pregnancy too. Somebody could be pregnant, but it's not known to the public yet. That somebody has another baby on the way. Yeah, five of wands. I told you somebody is jealous. There's pettiness going on, conflict, arguing, um, 
just five of wands motherfuckers not getting along and shit or whoever this person is that's in this relationship they are arguing and fighting with this fighting with this person all the time with the five of wands they are not happy I have the five of wands here Yeah, world cards. I think somebody's repeating some type of lesson out here. Somebody's repeating something over again because they didn't get it. But like I said, they could be jealous because they feel like this person who went silent on them, they have some type of unfinished business with this person or they think they do. I'm telling you, it's like somebody's like in a relationship with somebody who is like jealous of their ex, jealous of their ex's glow up, jealous that their ex moved on. Cause they still feel like there's some type of unfinished business out here. The world card returns. You can be dealing with a fixed sign, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Taurus, or a mutable sign like yourself, Pisces, Gemini. We got Aries out here too and Sagittarius. How's the world card reverse? It's like they're going through something again. You know what I'm saying? And like it's like now this karmic feminine is mad. This immature as masculine is mad too. They're all mad at this high priestess that doesn't even speak to none of them. Okay, where is the world card reverse? It's like somebody wants you to have some type of em empathy for them. Wants you to understand what they're, what they're going through and where they're coming from. And you're just like, that ain't got shit the fuck to do with me. Like, I don't give a damn about that karmic bitch wearing your ass out. That's on you. It's like somebody wants you to feel sorry for them. Or like I said, this is an emotional manipulator. So this is somebody, if you're not the person that went silent on them, it's like whoever this is that they're trying to call back in and manifest. It's like they're trying to get this person to feel sorry for them because of their circumstances. But it's like because they didn't got caught up. Food card, not a one's reverse in the tower. They didn't got caught cheating in somebody's house or something here. So it's like now they're trying to hurry up and go back to some manifest somebody back from their past and spin this whole feel sorry for me story and shit. It's just like, what? How's the world card here? Yeah, so we looked at it. Emperor reverse. Mm hmm. This is, this is a bogus motherfucker. Emperor reverse. And you definitely dealing with the Aries. Because we got the fool energy out here and the emperor energy out here. So some of you definitely dealing with Aries. But emperor reverse is somebody who can't, couldn't lead a fish to water. Like, this is somebody who lacks integrity. But they like to come off like they're a real man. Like they're solid and they're loyal. But this is somebody who still be lying. Like, this is somebody who lacks direction. They don't know where they're headed in life. And they're learning some, like, karma is taking this person through something again. This is somebody who keeps repeating the same shit. And it's a dumbass bitch out here that keeps repeating the same shit with this masculine energy, too. Because there's a trauma bond here. Like, this this relationship that this person in is rooted in, in toxicity and codependency. So, it's like, when they don't have access to this to this um to you pisces or this or to this high priestess that's ignoring them it's like they go back to this person and then even more fucked up shit happens and then it's just like the cycle keeps repeating but i feel like it got worse here the last time because somebody actively got caught cheating not the ones reverse fool car reverse or they could have got caught not using protection or got caught giving somebody head in somebody's house it's like ah, something here somebody got caught with the tower and the fool car and the not the ones they got caught cheating yeah, but this is someone with a lot of ego, a lot of pride, refuse to humble themselves. They got control issues. This person could be abusive for some of you. This could definitely be like a baby daddy or an ex-husband with the emperor reverse. For some of you, you tried to give this person another chance and then they fucked you over again. Will of Fortune reverse? Because it's like this is a lesson that you need to learn. This person does not deserve access to you anymore, like at all. But some some of you are trying to hold on to this person because of the potential in reverse. You see the potential in him, but it's just like it doesn't matter if you what the what the fuck potential is there. He don't even see the shit is in himself because he's somewhere not a wise reverse, um, acting out because he's not happy where he's at. All right, the fuck, looking for an escape route, trying to cheat and shit, 
trying to get in contact with one of his exes or somebody from his past that doesn't fuck with him because she knows he's a hot ass mess. A like real shit. Why is the emperor reverse here? Yeah, temperance reverse. Yeah, and this person that I'm telling you, this person has an attitude. For some of you, this person has an addiction or a drug problem. They could do lean, they could pop pills. Um, they could be a drinker or alcoholic. It's like temperance reverse. This person is unhealed. They got a lot of unhealed trauma, which is why they keep repeating the same shit. It's a karmic feminine out here who keeps repeating the same cycle with this masculine too. And then it's a woman out here, which I feel like is you, Pisces, this high priestess, that you don't fuck with this person no more. Like, because you know that they're an emperor reverse. Yeah, they got potential, but they ain't shit. They still cheat. They still lie. They still play games. They still manipulate. They're immature as fuck. For some of you, you know this person's like down low or gay. Like, this is like, who the fuck finna deal with it? It's a bitch out here willing to tolerate it, but it ain't you, Pisces. Yeah, temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Temperance reverse is somebody who's desperate too. So this is somebody who will just be with anybody that'll take them because they know that they're, they went on the wrong path in life. Cherry reverse. They know they've went in the wrong direction. Something here that went too far and got out of control. This lifestyle that they lived this cheating and all this shit. It didn't just went too far. For some of you, this person doesn't even have a car. Like what the fuck? Well, this is a cancer. That was a temperance reverse. It's giving desperate is what it's giving. How's the temperance here? Yeah, four swords. Ain't no rest for the wicked. This person knows that they be doing shit. This person can have mental health issues. They could suffer from insomnia. They stay up all night. They don't go to bed. Um, it's like they're experiencing some type of burnout. They're mentally exhausted. And they're mad and they're upset. They got an attitude. They get into it with everybody. It's like this person ends up getting into it with people they like in any environment it's like they go around other people and they start to get into it with motherfuckers with the temperance here because I, I said that i spoke to that earlier i'm like somebody out here got some type of temper problem or anger issue or they throw tantrum tantrums and shit like to get their way but that's why i said emperor reverse because what grown-ass man does that what type of grown ass man gets loud and start yelling and doing all this shit just to get their way? Like, and it's some bitch out here that's just like, yeah, this is my man. Like, mm -mm. yeah, seven of cups on the bottom of the deck. This is your energy, Pisces. Seven of see some of you pisces out here so i could be talking because the high priestess is upright out here so it's some it's some pisces that are really doing the work and it's some other ones who are playing the fuck around because the seven of cups it could be scorpio and pisces energy the seven of cups but the ten of wands here somebody knows that there is it, somebody here is wearing rose colored glasses you see how, how confused she's looking it's like she it's like something she knows about this situation isn't right but she's trying to ignore that because she's trying to look at this person in a certain type of light she wants to keep this fantasy or this illusion about this person's potential that she has but this shit is heavy ten of wands this shit is be starting to be too much like in a minute she ain't gonna have no choice but to take them damn rose colored glasses off this person is not who you think he is he's not a real fucking man he's not all this shit that he comes with these secrets and this attitude problem these addictions and this um all this shit that's not worth it yeah three of cups i told you somebody got back together with this person or reconciled with this person and it's like all healed and broke loose with the temperance reverse I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Mm -hmm, yeah, look at that. Knight of Swords reverse. This is somebody who can be verbally abusive or they're a bully or some shit. Knight of Wands reverse. They, like, they talk crazy to this person that they're with. And then the person that they're with, she just like, oh, he just does that when he has one too many drinks. It's like somebody is trying to, it's like whoever they're in a relationship with, this wife, this girlfriend, she enables this behavior. She tries to downplay, oh, it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. He only hit me that one time. He only cheated with my sister in my house uh, that one time. Like, it's a bitch out here that's like real stupid. Why's uh, 
Hot Priestess here. Yeah, Strength Card. I told you, somebody pulled back their energy from this person. This High Priestess, she pulled her energy back from this person. She like, mm -mm, never the fuck again. Like, but it's, it's another bitch out here who's willing to tolerate this shit. Because like I said, she's hoping that this masculine's potential that he will eventually mature and pick her. But that's not what's going to happen. Like, real shit. And I feel like this, this masculine energy, he's upset and he's lashing out because... He's pissed off that this high priestess strength card person here doesn't want to fuck with them. I'm talking about she closed up shop on this person. Like high priestess in a strength card, that's somebody who could be practicing celibacy or abstinence. Like she's just like absolutely the fuck not. Ever since finding out how, how uh, sexually reckless this person is, somebody is here like, mm, I'll never fuck you. You will never get this pussy ever fucking again. Like real shit. Cause somebody out here is just nasty and then they're a liar a pillow talker a gossiper another knight of swords reverse this person could have a criminal history or some type of record or something with the knight of swords it's just like they this person is obsessed with control they got a lot of pride they like got a lot of ego they're very immature they have all these addictions and it's like when they don't get their way then they start acting out until they do get it or until somebody like you know what i'm saying but then it's like whoever this high priestess strength card person is she like i'm not playing that like i don't give a fuck how loud you get i don't give a fuck how much noise you make i don't give a fuck about none of that like why's the nice words reverse and somebody is like hostile it's like they're very angry yeah queen of cups this is you somebody is very angry at you pisces high priestess queen of if you're on the high vibing side high priestess and a queen of cups and a strength card somebody's very pissed because you won't let them have access to you anymore it's like they're in a relationship or they're married or they're with some type of karmic that they're like wreaking havoc on she's trying to like she's codependent on their ass so she's making excuses for their behavior but they're acting out because they're mad because they don't have access to you anymore queen of cups high priestess and the strength card the one they really love them the true love the real love they don't have access to that anymore they don't have access to your cup they don't have access to your pussy you didn't pull all this shit back from them you don't even talk to this person with the high priestess you won't say a word to them like real shit because you know this person's secrets and shit you know how promiscuous you are. You know they on the down low. You know how hostile, verbally abusive about this addiction that they have. And there's some delusional ass bitch out here who's with this person and really thinks she got some sort of catch or she didn't won something here. But it's like, bitch, ten of wands, you are overwhelmed and stressed the fuck out trying to be with this toxic motherfucker, okay? Anyway, why is the world card? I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I don't know why I keep wanting to say the world card. It's like, Pisces, you're watching somebody repeat something again. And it's just like, now you're looking. Because for some of you, you tried to give this person advice before with the high priestess. But they didn't take your advice or they didn't take heed. Or I don't know, I guess they still thought that they could trick you or something. And it's just like, now you don't say nothing. You're just watching this person's life fall apart. <laughs> Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's broke. For some of you, this person could be homeless or destitute, or it's just, just like this person. Five of Pentacles is like financial hardship. It's like this person is stressed the fuck out. They don't know what they're getting ready to do. But it's just like the only thing they are doing is acting a damn fool for sure. Because you moved on. Six of Swords. You're just like, I'm going to fuck up out of here. See, your spirit guide led you out of the darkness. You headed towards the light, smoother, calmer waters and shit. And some of you Pisces, you literally could have moved. Like, you move cities, you move states, or you move somewhere where this person, they can't reach you, they can't access you, they can't pop up at your house, they can't do none of that shit. And, like, now this person is just like, yeah, look at that. Five of Cups, they're sad and in regret, heartbroken, crying over spilled milk, living in the past and shit. 
Yeah, this person is going through a lot of changes. That five of cups, five of wands, and the five of pentacles is out here. This person is, they got a lot going on right now. Six of swords. Yeah, Hierophant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, for some of you, Pisces, you could have even moved on to a new relationship. Could be with a Taurus. Six of Swords and a Hierophant, you moved on to, some of you got married or you got into a new relationship or some type of higher level commitment with somebody. Or that's what's coming in. Six of Swords. Some of you could be in the process of moving or you move to this new city or new state or new neighborhood and you meet somebody who is ready for a commitment. Somebody who's God-fearing or, you know, they believe in what you believe in or you can have the same type of morals and values and shit. Or this is this person. Because it's definitely, it's a high-vibing ass. I feel like this is you. You're the one who cuts this person off and you're watching their life fall apart. Because we got the Queen of Cups of Christ, the Strength card, and the High Priestess up here. So some of you, you learned the lesson already. And others of you, this person hasn't learned the lesson. You did, but they did. And they're repeating something. And their life is falling apart. It's like all chaos and healed and broke loose. And you're just sitting there watching this person go through all of this. Because you're the queen cup, the queen of cups. For some of you, you didn't let this person make you bitter. However, they tried to do you. They tried to break you down, break your spirit and shit. But you're showing up as a, a, a strength card. You're too resilient for that. You genuinely had love for this person. So they tried to break you and it didn't work. They didn't realize that you were a fucking high priestess. You have a real close connection with the most high. You, Whatever this person was trying to do to you, they were never going to break you. They only broke themselves. They're the ones in the five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you Pisces could be into spiritual shit. You could be a tarot reader. Yeah, we got a queen of wands out here. So some of you are. You're hella fine, hella sexy, very like... uh. It's like you're very sweet, very loving, very nurturing, but it's like you're fierce. You speak your mind. You're fine. You're ambitious. You're sexy as a motherfucker. Queen of Wands. It's like you just exude sexy. Some of you Pisces could be like chocolate skin. You could be a chocolate Pisces. A dark complexion. Some of you have a cat or a dog. Yeah, star card reverse. And this person is feeling hopeless, helpless, homeless, all that. Strength card reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person's reputation. This could be somebody who's like well known too. They do something in the public eye. It could be music. It could be some type of creative talent or something that they do with their hands. But it's just like their reputation is ruined now because people know them too much for this messy shit that they be involved in instead of this talent. This person lacks faith that they really can make it with this creative talent or something here that they have. That's a star card reverse. I mean, this is somebody who tried to juggle you with somebody else. And I guess they were so used to doing this shit. Because this is somebody who would like control and power and ego be ego tripping and shit. So this is somebody who like... I, they took a risk and tried to juggle you with somebody else and thought that you were going to stick around. And that's not what the fuck happened. You left this person alone, went silent on their ass and glowed the fuck up. And now they're somewhere stuck with a bitch repeating the same shit over and over again. But they're losing shit. Five of Pentacles, this person ain't got no money. Yeah, Six of Pentacles reverse. They need help or they feel like they were plotted on or set up or something here. Four of Cups tells you this person wants to come back around. They want this missed opportunity back because they feel like their life is boring. Six of Pentacles, they ain't got no money. They're a charity case. They need help and shit. But this is somebody who tried to string you along. Somebody who tried to breadcrumb you. Somebody who took your comments for weakness. They tried to take advantage of you and shit. It's like now that you're focusing on yourself, like all this self-care, all this self-love, it, it got you looking sexy as a motherfucker. Like real shit. And somebody out here is mad. Yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. It's unrequited love. You don't feel the same way about this person no more. And you don't want to be bothered. You're not interested in no reconciliation. You're not interested in trying to heal no shit with this person at all. 
Yeah, six of cups reversed. They're just mad and miserable. This is somebody that you have kids with from your past. It could be a Scorpio, but you just don't get along with them. They're miserable and unhappy, and they're not doing anything about it other than trying to get empathy or sympathy from other people and acting like they're a victim. Yeah, Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully, it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at you later. Peace.